Moses and Aaron strike the rock and are punished. The children of Israel, all of them, came into the wilderness in the first month. And the people stayed in Kadesh, and Miriam died there and was buried there, but there was no water for them to drink. So, as usual, they assembled themselves together against Moses and Aaron, and they argued with Moses and said, We wish we died when our brothers died before the Lord. Why have you brought the assembly of God into this wilderness so that we should die here, us and our animals? Why did you make us to come up out of Egypt to bring us into this evil place? It is no place of seed or figs or vines or pomegranates and there's no water to drink. Well, they didn't enter the promised land that was flowing with milk and honey because they didn't want to. They wanted to get back to Egypt. So with some people it's just impossible to do anything. But they just want all the time to complain. And that's what Israel were like. Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the assembly to the door of the tent of meeting and fell on their faces. And the glory of God appeared to them. And God spoke to Moses saying, Take the rod and assemble the congregation, you and Aaron your brother, and speak to the rock before their eyes that it give forth its water. And you shall bring forth to them water out of the rock. Moses took the rod from before... God as he commanded him. Moses and Aaron gathered the assembly together before the rock, and he said to them, Here now, you rebels, shall we bring water out of this rock for you? Moses lifted up his hand and struck the rock with his rod twice, and water came forth abundantly, and the congregation drank, and their animals. But you see, he hit the rock with his rod twice when God had said, Talk to it. And he also said, must we bring you water? Well, it wasn't him. It was God giving them water. So they'd gone on top of Moses and he spoke very badly with his lips. And so God said to Moses and Aaron, because you did not believe in me to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore you will not bring this assembly into the land which I have given them. These are the waters of Meribah, because the children of Israel struggled with, with God and he was sanctified in them. So it might seem a bit strict that God punished Moses and Aaron like that. Well, because, of course, Moses was wrong, but he'd been such a good leader and been so humble and had prayed for God not to destroy the people when God wanted to destroy them and make of him a greater nation. And he must have thought, huh, it would have been better if I let God destroy them and they wouldn't have made me stumble. But... He loved them, and God loved him, and they, Moses and Aaron, will be in God's kingdom. And in the bigger plan, it was to show also that Moses and the law of Moses could not lead God's people into the kingdom. He had to be Joshua, which is another name for Jesus. So even in our sins, God works through these things. But all the same, it's a great lesson to not let circumstances get on top of us and say things that we don't really mean and things that are wrong. And to be angry, especially when we realise that that rock represented Jesus. That's what Paul says. And so to hit the rock twice with his rod was really, as it were, crucifying Jesus. And he'd been asked to talk to the rock. So we've got to take God seriously and not just think, ah, yeah, well, more or less. If God has spoken, we must take him seriously.